If you go to Hindu temples, the priest used to give us, after the puja, he used to give a sacred ash. Either it will be in the form of a white color or it will be in the form of a red color. The red color is not really ash, it is soil. And the white color is the one which is a ash. Now, let me explain you how did this came into existence and uh, what is the concept behind wearing this in the forehead like like this way or like this way in hinduism once a person is dead the body has to be burnt first concept so after the body is burnt it becomes ash but the same hinduism says you can't burn a body, set fire to a body, if that person is not married. I don't know how many people know this. So if an unmarried man died or a female died, his body can't, we can't set fire to his or her body, it has to be buried. So the body after death either becomes ash or soil. This is the concept what Hinduism is telling. So when I started wearing this, I need to first think, oh, this body is going to be ash one day or soil one day. If if you have that thought in mind, you won't get attached towards your body. You can even look at your own body as a burden for you. Look at this body. Because of this body, I can't fly like a bird. Because of this body, I can't float in the water. If the body is not there, I am free. I can just go anywhere and the speed of what I will be traveling is like more than I can't explain that this body is bonding people to certain things and to overcome that bondage between the body and you people introduced this long time back please do take care